through this morning. Thousands of students headed back to school today. And it has been a pretty busy summer of upgrades in the San Juan Unified School District. Students are going to be enjoying some of those upgrades starting today. KCR 3's Mike Dazell joining us live in Carmichael to take a look. So, what have they done? Yeah, rise and shine. I'm guessing they're the sound of the alarm clocks going off throughout the area because, as the sign says right there behind me at Star King K through 8 School, August 14th, first day of school. And I'm guessing there might be a bit of curiosity throughout the San Juan School District today. That's because here, the summer has been a buzz of activity at schools throughout the district from a new $3 million stadium to a new artificial turf. On another football field, to upgrades inside classrooms, multi-purpose rooms, and campuses. There are going to be a fair amount of changes to welcome students as they return to school throughout this district. The superintendent told KCRA 3 the upgrades are part of approved bond measures that are bringing much needed upgrades to schools in some cases that are over 50 years old. And the changes? Well, students are already talking about the night and day difference of those football fields. Listen. I have a daughter that goes here, and she's seeing the changes. She's grown, she's basically grown up coming here, um, and she's seen the changes. And uh, she, you know, she tells her friends that don't go here that, you know, yeah, this is a good place to be, a great place to go to school. It was horrible, but now it's, you know, it's, it, you know, it's way better. You know, got the turf, got the red track. So it's looking real nice this year. So from horrible to real nice, changes throughout. This first day of school in the San Juan School District. Changes aren't done either. The superintendent telling KCRA 3 they're already talking about possibly a new performing arts center for next year. And the other interesting thing about all these changes is aside from obviously the upgrades, is the fact that students themselves were consulted about the changes. And the superintendent said as they were doing that process, it wasn't just the older students from the high schools that offered uh, their two cents, it was also the younger kids as well. So hopefully they all get a chance to see it today as they go back to school. Live at the Star King K-8 School, I'm Mike Sell, KCRA 3 News.